Hello, and welcome to the Poetry Cast with me, Matthew Erskine. In two days' time, the North Tyne town of Bellingham will host its annual show in its 173rd year. 110 years ago, William Billy Bell, the Reedsdale Roadman and poet, visited the show. That visit brings to us his poem, simply called Bellingham Show, and is dated the 17th of September, 1904. A thick veil of mist the Tyne Valley did fill, as I crested the top of the high Hersher Hill. I heard musical strains in the vale far below, as onward I pedalled to Bellingham Shore. I kept passing great crowds as I sped on my way, smart bonny young lassies all dressed neat and gay, with a smile on their faces, for well did they know they'd meet with the Johnnies at Bellingham Shore. And in from the mountains each valley and glen came the pride of the borders fine strapping young men, all jumping with glee, full of dash, fun and go, making haste to be in at Bellingham Shore. As up through the town my old bike did I drive, the crowd was as thick as brown bees round a hive. The rich and the poor, the high, great and low, had come for enjoyment at Bellingham Shore. They were there from the banks of the Tyne and the Reed, the Coquette and Wandsbeck and clear silvery tweed. From north, east, south and west, where Sol dips his glow, to see all the sights of Bellingham Shore. So up to the shore yard I went with the crowd, the white sheep were bleating, the dogs barking loud. The judges were busy, they'd a tough job I know, to give satisfaction at Bellingham Shore. Then round by the pens I now took a good look, to mark all the winners in my catalogue book. Appended you'll find in the verses below, some of the exhibits found at Bellingham Shore. There were horses and cattle, bulls, stirks, calves and coos. There was old tubs and gimmers, young dinmonts and ewes. They were far from the uplands and lands lying low, the flower of the chiviots at Bellingham Shore. There were dogs of all classes, both red and white cakes. There were cats, cocks and hens, chickens, white ducks and drakes. There were pigs and salt butter, unsalted also, pigeons, vegetables and hen eggs at Bellingham Shore. The judges were called on, their approval to fix, on a fine lot of articles we call walking sticks. I should like to have picked one, but a still voice whispered no, the bobbies will cop you at Bellingham Shore. There was leaping for horses over hurdle and fence, the pluck of the riders and horses immense. They leapt like the deer when he hears the horn blow, winning rosy bright laurels at Bellingham Shore. The farmers looked happy, the wolves had a rise, the lambs have sold well, the ewes will likewise. Their bright smiling faces, as they walked to and fro, bespoke of contentment at Bellingham Shore. The young lads and lassies, in glee swung and danced, and from eye unto eye the love lightning quick glanced. Many a king of creation, whether Tom, Dick or Joe, plighted vows with his donor, at Bellingham Shore. Tis a day when young Cupid throws forth many darts, and transfixes them deep in the young people's hearts. There many a young damsel, that dear gets a bow, who never had a sweetheart before Bellingham Shore. Old friends here clasp hands with a hearty good will, and talk of old times over a glass or a gill. They've not met for a twelve month. And who is to know? They'll perhaps not meet again till next Bellingham Shore. The cur dogs on the shore yard did grumble and growl, as the hounds up at Newton sent up a great howl. These brave tried old warriors, every one of them know, they meet the next morn after Bellingham Shore. 
May a small smile long fall on old Tyne's crystal stream, And near fair reeds they'll still catch the glint of his beam. May sweet laughing plenty to them ever flow, And success crown the efforts of Bellingham sure. The next morning awoke, and with joy unconfined, Contentment on nature's fair bosom reclined. To the meet with the border, many nimrods did go, who had caught at the pleasures of Bellingham shore. Brave Robson rode forth in the pride of the morn, just after the smile of sweet Phoebus was born. The cry of his dogs, and his loud tally-ho, far eclipsed all the joys of the Bellingham shore. And that was Bellingham Shore, written by William Billy Bell, the Reedsdale Roadman. This was the Poetry Cast, with me, Matthew Erskine. Goodbye.